Game of Thrones season two, episode one, the North remembers. New season, new us, let's go. Man, we almost had a couch today, y'all. <laughs> Bro, like they were supposed to deliver it yesterday, supposed to deliver it today. Dude, they, if they don't deliver it tomorrow, I'm gonna march up there. We are gonna record so much earlier, but we've been waiting on a couch that never showed up. Where are we at? Where's Where are we this? at? Dragonstone. Dragonstone. Okay. If this place looks as spectacular as the other places, then this show is going to continue to be amazing. The King of the North. So our our knowledge is about to have to expand. So we really need to make sure that we're caught up with season one. I wish we had watched all that backstory before, because that would have been crazy to know. But, right. You know, yeah. yeah. Got to do what you got to do. Okay, that was different on the wall. Let's go. <laughs> Is that a start coming? I think that's the mountain or hound, one of the two, probably the hound. Oh, sorry, he's like a wolf. Well struck. Well struck, dog. Yeah, that's the hound. Oh, wow. <laughs> Did you like that? It was well struck, your grace. I already said it was well struck. Yes, your grace. Oh my gosh. Oh, so he's just, ooh. Well struck. Ooh. Who's next? Sir Dontos the Red of House Holland. Here I am. What in the world? This man's late. Oh, he likes to watch people like that get beat up. Are you drunk? Uh, no, no, your grace. I had uh, two cups of wine. It's not much at all. <laughs> Please, have another cup. You sure, your grace? Celebrate my name day as much as you like. I will be honored, your grace. So his birthday, they call it their name day? Yeah, like I think they so. get their name? celebrate my name day. See that he drinks his fill. Oh, God. <laughs> See, he doesn't even have to be specific at this point. They just get what's up. Oh my god. Oh no. They're gonna kill him? You can't. I don't think he'll die, but. What did you say? It would be bad luck to kill a man on your name day. What kind of stupid peasant superstition? The girl is right. When a man serves on his name day, he reaps all year. Take him away. I'll have him kill tomorrow, the fool. So they were gonna kill him. That would have killed him. They're gonna drown him. I thought. Oh my oh god. My god. Yes. A fool, you're so clever to see it. He'll make a much better fool than a knight. He doesn't deserve the mercy of a quick death. Did you hear, my lady, Sir Dantes? You'll be my new fool. Thank you, Your Grace. And you, my lady, thank you. Beloved Dang, she tricked them. That's crazy. Oh, is Darian in the hand right now? Because Tywin's, you know, fighting a war? Right. You were nowhere to be found. <laughs> Yeah, he ain't about to go fight. Been here <laughs> ruling the kingdoms. What a fine job you've done. Look at you. More beautiful than ever. And you, you're going to be That little boy is going to be freaking hell when he gets older. I don't know if he follows in Joffrey's right. footsteps at all. <laughs> we heard you were dead. I'm glad you're not dead. Me too, dear. Death <laughs> is so boring. My lady, I'm sorry for your loss. Her father was a confessed traitor. But still her father. Surely having so recently lost your own beloved father, you can sympathize. Wow. My father was a traitor. I am loyal to my beloved Joffrey. Of course you are. Wow. I hated to hear that. Enjoy your name day, Your Grace. There is work to be done. Why are you here? <laughs> What? Dude, this show is making me way too frustrated than I should be in real life, because I'm starting to get to the point where, like, I hate that little boy. Considered reports from maesters all over the Seven Kingdoms and declared this great summer done. The longest summer in living memory. The summer's done, officially. It's an even longer winter. A common superstition. We'll have enough wheat for a five-year winter. If it lasts any longer, we'll have fewer peasants. Oh. The city's drowning in refugees. Winter coming, it'll only get worse. Command the city watch. Do you not, Slint? I do, Your Grace. Then do your job. Shut the gates to the peasants. They belong in the field, not our capital. Yes, Your Grace. So she's low-key ruling while Joffrey's out there playing games. Absolutely. Don't get up. They weren't blinded on it, bro. <laughs> so he's just making it back from the war <laughs> or whatever he was doing, sleeping. Give the interruption. I pissed off the edge of the wall, slept in a sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's been eventful. Tribes. So much to be thankful for. <laughs> what? are you doing here? This is the small council. Do you believe the hand of the king is welcome at all small council meetings? Oh, they're shocked. <laughs> but in his absence. Oh, <laughs> power move. Let's go, Tyrion. I'm getting the idea that he's going to bring some stability. I think out. so. 
Because he's smart. He's not a dum dum. Right. Because they're corrupt as all get out, and he's about to come over there and like I slow that down a little bit. Father into this. If I were capable of tricking father, I'd be emperor of the world by now. <laughs> Brought this on yourself. Done nothing. Quite right. You did nothing when your son called for Ned Stark's head. Now the entire North has risen up against us. I tried to stop it. You failed. That bit of theater will haunt our family for a generation. <laughs> Rob Stark is a child. Who's won every battle he's fought? Do you understand we're losing the war? What do you know about warfare? Nothing. But I know people, and I know that our enemies hate each other almost as much as they hate us. That's not good. Mm -mm. Joffrey is king. You are here to advise I'm him. Only here to advise him. And if the king listens to what I say, the king might just get his uncle Jamie back. Oh no. So she knows he's gone. It's your one redeeming quality. That and your cheekbones. <laughs> Stocks love their children as well. Arya, little animal, she disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> little animal. We had three stocks to trade. You chopped one's head off and let another escape. Father would be furious. <laughs> Must be odd for you. So she's fumbling the bag right now politically. Mm. To be the disappointing child. Oh, Tyrion's not the black sheep anymore. I mean, he probably still is. Yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day. Look at her. She's like, oh man, what are we going to do? The old gods watch over your brother. But how much can Tyrion oh, sit there and taunt her until she does something about it? though he's the hand right now well wasn't john aaron the hand thanks i afraid the masons today are not fit to carry their father's hammers i remember seeing them put up a new tower and oh, work it's brand <laughs> today my whole fast looks like it was built by drunk children <laughs> brands like bruh i just want to play fortnite <laughs> Let me be a kid. Maintenance of a hold fast generally falls to the lord of that hold fast. Generally, yes. But I've sent all the young men off to fight Rob Stark's war. King Rob. It's not his war. He didn't choose it. But he called in his banners and took the men. Joffrey killed my father, your liege lord. Do you remember your vows, sir? Oh. Of course <laughs> I remember. We can spare four masons for a week, my lord. Will that be sufficient? I, I believe it will. Oh, Look how many people, though, man. I know they're all having problems. And they have no resources because everyone's off to fight the war right now. Mm -hmm. And everyone's just worried about their own problems, like the common folk. Nor did I. But listening to people you'd rather not listen to is one of your responsibilities. Oh, I love that guy. He's a good dude. Master Lewin. Yeah. May the old gods watch over your brother and all the northerns. <laughs> kissing a little, kissing a little butt, buttering up that bread. Before you gotta ask for a favor. <laughs> What's this shot right here? Dog vision? It looks like a wolf shot. Oh my gosh. Look is that, that a comet? Like a comet or something, right? It is a wolf. Is it Bran's wolf? Oh, it's another one of his dreams. What's up with that, man? <laughs> I didn't get clarity from last time. Oh, I know. Did anybody tell us? Nope. Thank y'all. Oh, look, he has a thing now to ride on Hodor. Boil this for an hour. Ain't it crazy? He's just rocking with them. He just tried to cut him up earlier. I know. And they took the chains off her. Oh, so she that's why she's looking sneaky. Had some of the men talking about the comet. So that means Rob will win a great victory. Something's out there, huh? So they really all see that. Well, Hodor. Means the Lannisters will rule all seven kingdoms before long. I thought he was about to bend over and look in the water. The color of blood. Mark the death of your father. Red comet means one thing, boy. Dragons. What? Hey. Dragons are all dead. So we got a little. Been dead for centuries. What's that mean? Like some prophecy action or something? It's like a comet comes because dragons are born. Like we're getting kind of mystological here. You see what I'm saying? That's so cool. Is it? Things moving kind of slow. Well, it's a comet, not a asteroid. Is it a signal like, yo, there's dragons? <laughs> I guess. Yo, they got a tough walk. Yeah, it looks like it too. Look at them boots too. Dang, they're just riding on her back. <laughs> they're thirsty. What did your brother say about them, Khaleesi? He said they ate meat. He didn't tell you what kind of meat. <laughs> My brother didn't know anything about dragons. He didn't know anything about anything. <laughs> well, yeah, he was naming all them dragons to her that day. Just repeating yeah. what he heard, but he didn't really know the dragons. <gasps> oh, no. The horse is cramping up. Oh, no. What if that's what the dragons eat? She was Drogo's first gift to me. I remember. I promised them that enemies would die screaming. How do I make starvation scream? Trick I never learned, I'm afraid. Oh, so she's facing some adversity, see? Does it ever end? Everything ends, even the red waste. And you're sure there's no other way? We go south to the land of the Lazarine. The lamb men will kill us and take your dragons. No one Dang. will take my dragons. They're too weak to fight. You must be their strength. As you are mine. I know everyone loves her and I'm supposed to be rooting for her, I think. Dude, she sort of got dragons to go conquer her land, right? Am I really supposed to root for her? The only reason I can think is because it's just so corrupt there that maybe they just need to do something different. I don't know. I guess we'll see. They seem to be a lot less violent under her. Yeah. Look, he's talking like a human to her. 
bad time to start. Yeah, because she just doesn't seem like brutal and vicious like the other people. And so that's the vibe I'm getting. Like maybe she can just bring a new age. But them dragons kind of got me stressed out though. I know it's because I don't know like if they, they haven't seen them in so long. Like are they going to grow up to be real dragons? And what's she going to do with them? She's like doesn't have a house. <laughs> Where do you keep them if they become big dragons? Hey, maybe they go to Dragonstone and maybe the dragons live at Dragonstone. It introduced it. So what do they do? Fly there every night? Take a nap? Having a rough time of it. Nothing's killed me yet. Just want you to shut up about your damn blisters. So there's civilization out there. A wildling house, perhaps? I was born in a place like this. Are those girls? <laughs> I haven't seen a girl in six months. Mm -hmm. Keep on not seeing them if I were you. You don't like people messing with his daughters. He marries his daughters. And they give him more daughters. Blech. And on it goes. This show is just, like, full of this, right? All the other wildlings for hundreds of leagues have disappeared. Bastard's still here. Must be doing something right. Who is that guy? <laughs> he marries his daughters. What does he do with his sons? Oh, he throws them out in the cold, huh? He said he planned his stop here on his way to the Frost Fangs. I haven't seen Benjamin Stark in three years. You southerners make good wine. He called good. him a southerner. <laughs> Who's this little girl? <laughs> You're prettier than half my daughters. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Listen to me, bastard. All you lot from south of the wall. But now you're in the north. The real north. That's that pretty little bastard talking to my daughters. No one will talk to your daughters. He's awfully cocky. There's a lot of people. Sit down They're outnumbering him, right? I know. We passed through six villages on the way here. All six were abandoned. Where have all the wildlings gone? I could tell you, but I'm thirsty. You want to know where they've all gone? No. Join up with Mance Raider. Your old friend. He's an old friend of mine. He broke his vows. Betrayed his brothers. Oh, oh he was in the Night's Watch. Once he was just a poor black crow. And now he's a king beyond the wall. What's he king of? A frozen lake somewhere. <laughs> That's a good looking axe. Fresh forged. Give it here. And some lovely steel. You want to know what Mance Raider's doing? Gathering an army. He's already got more men than any of you southern kings. And where does he plan marching this army? That many people live north of the wall? I know, right? These are bad times to be living alone. Cold winds are rising. My roots are so deep. Tell the Lord Crow how contempt we are. Our husband keeps us safe. Better to live free than die a slave. Aww. Don't it make you jealous, old man? See me with all these young wives and you with no one to warm your bed? <laughs> Why is he just talking Joseph. junk? I know. Why? Oh, I... Chose the path with no one but boys on it. <laughs> You've been wanting to sleep beneath my roof, I suppose. Any man lays a hand on one of my wives, he loses the hand. So obviously someone's gonna touch one of his wives. Well, why is he so obsessed with it? Staring too long. I might just gouge his eyes out. Your roof, your rules. Oh, John better go sleep outside because <laughs> he's gonna get accused of anything. Who am I? Lord Commander, who are you? Steward, you want to lead one day? We'll learn how to follow. Dang. Next time we'll get the ground, John. That guy has a lot of trust in him, like that he's going to change. Lord of light, come to us in our darkness. We offer you these false gods. Take them and cast your light upon us. Who is this? Is I have no idea. Full of terrors. We got a redhead right now. Will fall heavy on the world. Stars will bleed. We need to stop her. And the dead shall rise in the north. All you men were named in the light of the seven. Oh, he's a meister because he has those chains. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you so eager to put on your ancestors? Smell of fear, fear. Peace. Who is this lady right here, though? I don't know. Why is she like controlling this whole ceremony? Stop me. Is she a witch? Oh, you mean like that lady in the uh, in Essos? Yeah, she kind of is dressed like a in witch. In ancient books, it's written that a warrior will draw a burning sword from the fire, and that sword shall be light bringer, Stannis Baratheon. Oh, he's a Baratheon. Warrior of light. The rightful heir. <laughs> what is he doing? So obviously this is Dragonstone, right? Because I don't know where this place is. Or it's, yeah, and that's where the Baratheons live, right, right now? Because they took it over from the Targaryens. For the night is dark and full of terrors. For the night is dark and full of terror. I don't really know about this dude as like a leader or something. It he seems like he like, just did some witchcraft, like. Right, he just doesn't seem like, like a Like sold his soul to get, get something. And this guy right here knows it too, look. He's like, that's not a good idea, dude. He's like, Satan's gonna get me, boy. Woman will lead him into a war he cannot win. Stannis is our king. We follow where he leads. Since that boar killed his brother, every lord wants a coronation. 
But loyal service means telling hard truths. But he trusts you, Davos. Davos. If you tell him the truth, what's the truth? So mysterious, this part. <laughs> what is going on? Well, he's like, we gotta stop her. And then he's just looking down at the ground like he knows he's right. And now he's like, what is truth? I didn't love him. A harmless courtesy of yours. A lie. Take it out. <laughs> That my brother Robert left no true-born heirs. The boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and the girl Marcella being born of incest by right of birth. Jamie Lannister, the Kingslayer. Call him what he is. <laughs> and her brother Jamie Lannister, the Kingslayer. Make it Sir Jamie Lannister, the Kingslayer. What's in his cup? Whatever else he is, the man's still a knight. I do this day lay claim to the Iron Throne of Westeros. Oh, he's claiming it. But all true men declare their loyalty. When Eddard Stark learnt the truth, he told only me. I'll not make the same mistake. Send copies of that letter to every corner of the realm from the arbiter of the war. Let no man claim ignorance as an excuse. The Lannisters are the true enemy. If for the time being you could make peace with your brother. I'll not make peace with Renly while he calls himself king. Oh, Renly is soon. Randall Tarly. Stannis does not need to beg this lord or that lord. The Lord of Light stands behind him. And how many ships has the Lord of Light got in his fleet? Mm -hmm. He has no need for ships. But we do if we're going to war. If not Renly or Grace, join forces with Rob Stark. Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Okay, mm -hmm. no room for negotiation. May the Lord of Light watch over us all. A cup of wine to honor the one true God. Oh my, what is happening here? Oh, I thought someone was in the cup. It's just a dragon call. But that's a cool cup. What the heck? Did he just poison himself? And she's just gonna drink it like that? That's the only way he can try to kill that lady. He sacrificed himself to kill her. Right. The fire burns them all away. What's in her neck right there, bro? Why is it lighting up? This she's shows, a witch. This show feels so different than it did when we first started, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's the king of the north. I'm going to go see Jamie. He's got that look in his eye like he wants to stab him. King in the north. <laughs> <laughs> Drag me along from camp to camp. Have you grown fond of me, Stark? I've never seen you, the girl. <laughs> if I left you with will of my bannerman, your father would know within a fortnight. My bannerman would receive a raven with a message. Release my son. You'll be rich beyond your dreams. You don't trust the loyalty of the men following you into battle. I trust them with my life, just not with yours. Smart boy. That is smart. Because... <laughs> don't like being called boy. Insulted. Oh, he looked a little shook by that, didn't he? Will you insult yourself, Kingslayer? You've been defeated by a boy. Too bad you don't have a lion, Jamie. Yeah, captive by a boy. Perhaps you'll be killed by a boy. They timed that so good. Stannis Baratheon sent ravens to all the High Lords of Westeros. The King Joffrey Baratheon is neither a true king nor a true Baratheon. Called out. He's your bastard son. Stannis is the rightful king. How convenient for him. My father learned the truth. Putting it all together. Detective mm -hmm. two bees. Mm -hmm. The world would learn who fathered him and you. You pushed my brother from a window because he saw you with the queen. You have proof. Don't need it, bro. If you want to trade gossip like a couple of fish wives. Mm -hmm. Sending one of your cousins down to King's Landing with my peace terms. You think my father's going to negotiate with you? You don't know him very well. <laughs> He's starting to know me. Oh. Three victories don't make you a conqueror. It's better than three defeats. Absolutely. You are King right Rob. about that, two bees. King in the north. <gasps> Yeah, he's like, y'all done killed off my sister. It's like a mafia wolf. Yeah, R.I.P. lady. We'll never forget. That wolf has restraint, doesn't it? Self-control. Oh, he, that actually made him scared. Yeah, because nobody wants to get killed by a wolf. Stinks. That would suck. A bit corpsey, yes. <laughs> Thought you wanted to come here. I love this thing. I love the noise. Yes, well, you need to be careful. No one will know. Oh, he's hiding her, huh? Mm -hmm. His dad said he couldn't bring her. Yeah, specifically her. You're the biggest little liar I have ever met. Crushed beneath the weight of all that truth. <laughs> Ned Stark actually slept on this. Poor man didn't suffer enough. Oh. <laughs> One of the many changes we'll have to make around here. That's jacked up, bro. Are they like in love? I get the feeling that like Tyrion might be. Yeah, maybe. Lord Baelish. Your grace. I wonder if I might ask you. She just sort of came out of nowhere. I know. I would be walking off and act like I didn't. That's why it's kind of weird. We can't seem to locate her. Winterfell seems the logical destination. And yet my friends in the north report no sign of her. The girl has some value. Whoever finds her, well, you know what they say about Lannisters and deaths. Well, <laughs> you could ask Varys where she is. I have always had a hard time trusting eunuchs. <laughs> Who knows what they want? The Mockingbird. You created your own sigil, didn't you? Appropriate. I'm glad you like it. Hey, he wants big power, huh? I guess. <laughs> He wants to be on the world stage. He made his own house. <laughs> I heard a song once. 
about a boy of modest means found his way into the home of a very prominent family. He loved the eldest daughter. She had eyes for another. When boys and girls live in the same home, awkward situations can arise. <laughs> Even brothers and sisters develop certain affection. Shut your mouth, little finger. I know, stop it. Prominent families often forget a simple truth. Knowledge is power. <laughs> Seize him. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, what is he doing? Cut his throat. I've changed my mind, let him go. What the heck? There's your power. Step back three paces. Right. Bump your knowledge. Power. <laughs> Dang. That's that exactly cold. what she was trying to say. That was the coldest part of season two so far. I mean, yeah, but bro, this show is And there's a little bird that like... just seen it, boy. You're Sir Alton Lannister. I am. Your Christ. Your family must release my sisters. Second, my father's bones must be returned to us so he may rest beside his brother and sister in the crypts beneath Winterfell. The remains of all those who died in his service must also be returned. Their families can honor <laughs> them with proper funerals. That's a hard task. Joffrey and the Queen Regent must renounce all claim to dominion of the North. Independence Day. To the end of time, we are a free and independent kingdom. King in the North. Oh, wow. Neither Joffrey nor any of his men shall set foot in our lands again. If he disregards this command, then he shall suffer the same fate as my father. Oh, my. Only, I don't need a servant to do my beheading for me. These are, these are my terms. I will litter the south with Lannister dead. King Joffrey is a Baratheon, your grace. Oh, is he? <laughs> oh, is he? I will be all for tonight. <laughs> Dang. Let's go, the king in the north. And he told a Lannister. So right now, man, you asked me who my favorite character is. It's definitely Rob Stark, right? He's stepping up. Yeah. Let's go. We won't beat them until you take King's Landing. My father has ships and men who know how to sail. Because he's from the islands. I'm his only living son. He'll listen to me. I'm not a Stark, I know that. But your father raised me to be an honorable man. Let's go, Theon. We can avenge him together. So that's really cool. Yeah. Right, that's cool because he has that connection for ships, a but... rats live in the sewers of King's Landing. We rally them to fight for us. I understand you don't trust Lord Greyjoy. <laughs> I don't trust Lord Greyjoy because he is not trustworthy. And now I'm the one rebelling against the throne. We married one rebel and mothered another. <laughs> more than just rebels. If I trade the Kingslayer for two girls, my bannerman will string me up by my feet. You want to leave Sansa in the Queen's hands? And Arya? Yeah, that's jacked up, I man. haven't heard a word about Arya. Oh, my. What are we fighting for if not for that? It's more complicated than that. You know it is. It's just not about his family anymore. It's about the whole North. He's representing them all. It's about independence from that tyranny. It's time for me to go home. I haven't seen Bran or Rickon in months. You can't go to Winterfell. No, Meister Lewin is babysitting. I'll send Roderick to watch over the boys. It's tomorrow. You'll ride south to the Stormlands. Why in the name of all the because gods would you... I need you to negotiate with Renly Baratheon. I haven't seen Renly Baratheon since he was a boy. You have a hundred other lords. Which of these lords do I trust more than you? If Renly sides with us, we'll outnumber them two to one. We'll get the girls back and we'll all go home. Good. That just sounds like they're on the back burner. True. Yeah, that's <laughs> the vibe I'm getting, man. The stakes feel so much higher than they did. And she's gonna do it. That's what's up. So they gotta get Renly, the one you know that's right, the one that we just met. No, that was Stannis. Stannis, that was Stannis, right? Renly's the one that went up to Ned and was like, "Remember, yeah." King in every corner now. <laughs> oh God, what is he doing? <laughs> Some nonsense. Turning this room to its proper appearance. Say what you will about the Targaryens. They were conquerors. That is a seat for a conqueror. That room was whack, to be honest. It didn't look grand enough for a king, especially a king so arrogant. <laughs> They'll never give Jamie back to us for Sansa alone. I think they might. They're weak. Put too much value on their women. <laughs> We need to set our armies to the task of finding her. I'm sure if you asked, Grandfather. The king does not ask. He commands. His life is in danger. We're at war. All our lives are in danger. Dang, he's talking down to his mama now. I heard a disgusting lie about Uncle Jamie. Our enemies will say anything to weaken your claim to the throne. It's not a claim. The throne is mine. Of course it is. <laughs> of course. No one believes this foul gossip. If someone believes it. What are you asking? I'm asking if he f other women how many bastards does he have running slap oh. the king that's what's up i'd have your hand taken off for that mother you think that he'll do that nah not to his mother she looks scared mm -hmm. what you just did is punishable by death you will never do it again that will be all mother dang you notice they're wearing red now this season i just noticed that right do you notice how freaking like crazy that dynamic is going to be between them yeah she what says, is happening put some clothes on both of you are working tonight Oh, Rose is in charge now. <laughs> Littlefinger's a fancy man. Call him Littlefinger. Doesn't like it. Lord Baelish. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Oh, so he work she works for him now. And she doesn't speak the common tongue so that people will think she's exotic. She'd go up just down the road in Fleabottom. 
<laughs> She's beautiful. Good to see you again. Who is that? Oh, no. Do you realize this establishment is owned by Lord Peter Baelish? Orders. Whose orders? The Queen. <gasps> What's happening? That's, that's who they went and saw. That's Robert's. Oh, the bastard kid? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, they're going to execute the kid? Yeah, man, that's crazy, bro. This universe. Oh, my gosh. 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 Joffrey must have sent that order, right? When he heard that rumor? Yeah. The nasty little rumor. That's what I'm saying. They're going to lose the support of the people. Oh my gosh, how many does he have? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Look, that guy wasn't cool with it. His name is Gendry! Where is the bastard? The Night's Watch! <gasps> they can't Where? go there. They took him over the King's Road! How will we know it? He's got a bull's head helmet! He made it himself! Oh my god, they're they gonna better, find Arya. Well, they better intercept them before they get there, because if they show up to the Night's Watch, do you think that they'll bow down to these go, people? Or they, they just fight? have to go on the King's Road, though. That's easy to go to. Right. It's yeah, straight absolutely. ahead. And no, I bet they'll just let them go. I bet they'll just give them away. Crazy. Oh my gosh. How much politics is in this one? The North remembers. Crazy. So that episode right there was like a lot of different types of like politics coming together. A lot of different ones, right? Yeah, there was a lot of um, there was a lot of new elements introduced in this one mm -hmm. for sure. We, met, we, um, we have that lady who is her name was Melisande. I, I have no idea. I just saw yeah. it on the subtitles. Her name was Melisande. I want to say it's pronounced Melisandre. You hit right. the nail on the head. She she seems like a witch, doesn't <laughs> yeah, she? Yeah, she had like these rituals she was doing. She was she was doing it because um, Stannis Baratheon's finally going to claim his his spot on the throne. Right, absolutely. So they're gonna fight the Lannisters apparently. And apparently on the other side of the brothers, Renly is the other brother. He's also has a hundred thousand men. So basically what- I know who, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. I know who the characters are. It's just a lot of new like elements came into play this mm -hmm. episode. And so with all the new names, I just got a little overwhelmed with it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely know who Renly is now. Ren I like Renly because he's just very, because this show, not to interrupt you, baby, but I'm kind of rooting for Renly in a way because, I mean, he's kind of soft, and so I feel like there's no way he could be king in this hard universe, but yeah. he's very nice. Right, and everyone said, like, they need a king that they can love, and apparently he's Who wants he's to, the man for that. Right, because everyone wants to rule by conquest and fear. So And, and he even made statements like that his brothers were good fighters and he's not, which was... Robert and Stannis. But what was you saying though? Basically, I was saying like Rob is Rob is gonna have to either like befriend Renly or Stannis probably to fight the Lannisters. Like they're gonna have to either all come together or one of them's gonna side with the other one. Yeah, but you, yeah, exactly. So it seems like the Lannisters in the South have a really strong army, and you know, Two Bees is saying. But they have three defeats, so. though. Right, exactly, and Two Bees is saying that. No, actually, I'm in charge. I'm three and oh. Um, the show's giving me the vibe that, like, even though Rob's winning, I don't feel like they're winning. Maybe it's because they no. just cut Rob's head off and they have the daughters and there's turmoil. <laughs> you mean Ned's head off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they cut Ned's head off and there's turmoil. And, you know, they was just arguing amongst, like, what is the end goal? Like, what is the ultimate motivation of this war? And for Catelyn, it's to get the daughters back. For Rob, it's to gain independence and it, from... Right, it the, evolved. Yeah. Yeah. So... I lost my train of thought, basically, but yeah, a lot of crazy stuff going on. But like I said, I'm getting the vibe that like King's Landing is winning, even though apparently Rob's winning. But I see what you're saying. There's such a strong force in the South that everyone's going to sort of have to come together and everyone sort of is taking their claim at this point. So many players are, are taking their stake. Yeah, because Catelyn made a point when she was talking to Rob, she said, there's a king on every corner now. So right. like, it seems like the throne's weak. So it's like whoever has the strongest force is gonna get it. And even right. Daenerys is a force, though she's not, because she has them dragons. And I think- Right, just another player the in the day, game, right? Yeah, at the end of the day, that makes her a player. Well, see, we've got to know Daenerys from the beginning of this <laughs> series, but we're just meeting like other characters in a way, or, you know, she's gotten so much more screen time, we've become a lot more invested, so. She seems more important. Right you now, know, she's struggling, so we can't really count her out. Count her everyone's in or struggling. Out. Yeah, no everyone, one's really up right now. Everyone's facing adversity in some way at this point, and like even the Starks, like their their claim in the North also seems weak because they don't have. They don't know where Arya is at all, and they don't have Sansa. Well, it's basically like a world war, except when we look at, you know, like world history, 
every world war hasn't been just one side versus another side even though it ultimately shaped that way because of like ally ships and things you can definitely see a worldwide war coming where multiple fronts are just at odds with each other not to mention winter is coming and yeah. so white walkers apparently are making their way south and then they said the king of the north also has an army bigger than any of the armies right and the king of the north of the is wall. not a white walker he's a he was an ex night's watch guy so he's right. a human he's just a yeah. human so this is a lot. It's getting complicated. Yeah. Excited to get in there. I'm excited to try to <laughs> learn these new characters and try to make more sense of what we just saw. I keep mentioning that this show evolved so much from the beginning, and I'm pretty sure that you guys, you know, you guys are probably so familiar with this story that it might not feel that way, but try to just put yourself in my shoes the first time you watched it. If you remember the show evolving like that, man, because it really feels like it just completely took a 180, but I'm actually kind of into it. Right. Uh, this show was crazier because you know my favorite dynamic of the show is basically intriguing the hell out of me dude it's this dynamic between joffrey and his mom these are yeah. two of the most evil people and honestly i am here but for you it. see you see that he kind of like was like i know like the truth and he's like i'm not real like getting on my nerves you know like he's just hinting at like that like i know the truth girl like yeah well the secret's finally starting to come out like um you saw that the rumor was spread so he actually sent words to all pillars of was it him or cersei though i don't know no no, no i'm saying um who called baratheon that? the stan what stan is baratheon is that his name what the guy who sent the ravens to all pillars of the earth oh yeah, yeah, yeah stan so baratheon. stannis said hey yo dude I'm gonna put out this this truth. I'm gonna let this little seed go out there and fester in the minds of people, and it worked. Yeah. You know, <laughs> basically by him writing a letter, ultimately the butterfly effect took place. Next thing you know, Cersei's in the middle of that room, slapping her son right in the face. You know what I'm saying? That just goes to show like what a <laughs> cost and effect. Yes, that has, like so. how important that was. But then he was doing some weird witchcraft stuff. Which was like, it was like he sold his soul to like finally take this claim. There's a comment. Yeah, and there's a What's comment. What's up with that? There's yeah. like this whole comment that's not really moving. It's moving like extremely slow. Uh, Bran's having dreams about it again. So I'm and still confused about that. And people are saying that means a dragon, but like no one knows for sure what that means. So yeah, apparently the show's starting to have a little more like witchcraft vibe to it. A little more like supernatural, supernatural yeah. elements. A little more like, I don't know, when I saw the that the comment and i was hearing about the dragons i just got like prophecy vibes or something yeah so. like something like that and when we watched the lore we learned that actually dragons like were in that battlefield the field of fires they killed like 40 4, people so dragons actually were a real thing in the lore yeah absolutely and you know i'm really excited <laughs> we're so i'm getting so ahead of ourselves but we got a whole season to go but just starting off right now i'm really excited to look forward into the future because when we do get to watch the lore i'm sure it's going to explain about the comment and all that yeah stuff. yeah yeah that's exciting so that's going to be really cool <laughs> Hopefully the show allows me to pick up those answers before we get there. But there was a lot of things that we learned in that. So um, and that was really helpful and interesting. And I think if you're going to watch Game of Thrones, you absolutely have to watch those. Yeah, they're interesting and absolutely. they teach you so many new things. That you, you guys can skip it if you'd like. But if you are a Game <laughs> of Thrones fan and if you're watching us and if you for some reason haven't seen it, then I would definitely say that I couldn't imagine watching the series without watching those. So right. Really yeah. put a lot of things in perspective. But yeah, oh, let's, yeah, let's get into the next one. Yeah, I'm really excited to watch the next guys uh like subscribe thank you guys so much for the support as always we're having so much fun on this journey the show is incredible as you guys already know and we're just gonna keep this thing going we're gonna keep pumping them out let's go okay so today i'm doing something a little bit different oh my god <laughs>